Okay, so uh, Color Marker version 3 is now available for download and I'll just quickly go over the what's new in this uh, release. Now when it comes to installation it's exactly the same as before so be sure, be sure to check uh, or help file provided with download or one of the uh, previous videos about Color Marker where I go over the installation process which is as I said exactly the same. Um, now let's go over the what's new. Now um, the important one is to mention is color assign mode, uh, which uh, refers to uh, method of assigning uh, wireframe color to the objects, selected objects. Uh, what does this mean? Now the uh, so far how color marker worked was in this mode, transform override. So if you use it like this, this is indication T, right? So if I switch to color, as we see, if I go to T, it's T. So T mode or transform uh, is the how color marker works so far. Everything works exactly the same as before. So in that case, you can just keep using color marker as you always do. And that's pretty much it. Now to know uh, what exactly is doing is um, let me let me assign like this. Um, what is actually uh, behind the scene happening is that the when you assign the color in this mode it assigns the uh, color on transform node of the object display as the drawing overrides on and enable as uh, and assign here the color right so this means why is the call transform override so it's using uh, transform node drawing overrides um, the second mode is uh, called the version color as a Maya tool uh, and as I said is Maya tool meaning that it's using display wire from color under the hood right um, when I assign assign the color let's say this blue one and if I go into transform node as you can see there is no uh, enable overrides are um, this is disabled meaning that if I go into this one see it's uh, if I go there so the is using the wire from color now the question is uh, why those two options? Now if the main reason why I included the new version of Wireframe Color is for those who use display layers a lot. Now uh, these two are uh, assigned as a transform and if you used a uh, color marker together with the display layer before you may have noticed that uh, if I add this to the layer, right, as you can see the colors are lost, Wireframe Color. Uh, but if I assign these three objects are assigned as a wire from color using Maya tool wire from color under the hood, uh, and if I add those objects, as you can see, the the color is preserved, so you can use it freely freely with the transform. And that's this new mode is uh, is here. Now, uh, when I when you switch to one of this mode, everything else in color marker works exactly the same. So if I if I let's say want to select this object uh, which is assigned to wireframe color if I do select it will select the same if I want to copy let's say copy this it will copy and this will be assigned as wireframe color right so everything will work in under that mode if you are in this mode right I hope this uh, it makes sense so um, mm, okay let's let's reset um, so what else is new? Okay, uh, one thing I want to mention is now random I selected also is affected by the which mode you are. Uh, meaning that if I let's say on transform and I select this and uh, do a quick randomize, uh, these colors are assigned as a drawing overrides on transform node. If I switch back to the uh, if I switch to one color and then use a randomize selected. As you can see, it's not enabled, so it's using the warm colors, right? As you can see, this is changing, so it's using the, the warm colors. Um, this is also for the, uh, if you go editor, also the same, if depends on which mode you are and uh, where the warm color of the object will be assigned. So that you can use it again as a d in, in the display layer or not. Uh, what else is new is the swap colors, uh, which is if you, let's say uh, I'm on T, right, transform, and I assign this color, 
now if I uh, if I uh, I'm like here and enable override so uh, I want these objects I already assigned it to transform and I want to add them to display layers meaning that I will lose this color so uh, this feature meaning that swap colors it will quickly swap the color from transform into uh, wire uh, from color if I use as you can see so switch as you can see the draw and overrides are uh, disabled but if I go into this are enabled so now you can add them uh, in the display layer so it's just quick uh, utility to help you with that uh, also goes the other way around if I swap them again um, it's disabled the wire from color and enabled again the uh, transform now uh, one thing also which is uh, related to this uh, swapping is a check color wire color uh, utility um, if I do the okay I'm some selecting this object and then I do the check color it will give you the warning uh, here the info uh, and tell you um, the wire from where the wire from color is assigned in this case is the transform mode as drawing override right and if I check the draw yes that's true um, if I assign let's say uh, we see let's say this color and if I do the check it will tell you the it's assigned as a wire from color mod if I do this check transform node so this will kind of give you um, indication of whether you need to swap the color uh, or not before you add into display layer so let's say i can uh, check the check the color uh, transform node i can do uh, select uh, okay i have to be transform node select select the color and then um, swap and then i can do add them to layer as you can see they are now you can i can use the display layer safely um another another thing is that now um, the you can uh, have the also the panel size options size so you have a lot uh, lot a lot larger uh, colors to choose from instead of uh, going to slider and choosing like this so you can uh, this is also uh, remembering if i close it and open again it will remember the settings right and it worked the same as before like compact is before uh, if you select the color nothing selected in this if i do like this is selected that's same in this case say like this okay um while i'm at this um i want to show you one more thing if i go back to the uh, old version of uh, color marker which is 2.1 uh about the select uh, which is uh, how it works if I do a select one object select uh, it will select all the same right but what if I want to select like select me this and this one and then do select as you can see select only the this uh, first selected but it ignores the other um, which uh, in uh, if I go back to the 3.0 now if I select uh, like this and this let's say it will select all the uh, all the uh, objects so it's a uh, multi uh, supports multi selection meaning that any color that it under selection it will select them right i think this is the assign under the check wire wire from color mode so i have to be in the wire from color to select um is that all i think it is and a last thing I want to sh uh, want to tell is the the select is uh, speed is a lot improved so that should be a lot faster now uh, in 3.0 uh, especially on uh, lots of objects and a bigger scene um, I think this covered it all um, as I said before uh, please do check the uh, help file provided with the download for the more information about the uh, how uh, the feature work and uh, if something is not clear enough or you have some issues please use the help and then uh, contact me either on facebook or a station or you can use my email or anything um, and send me an email and uh, i'll try to explain or fix the problem if there is any 